One thing I keep seeking in your channel is a very brief three to four minute rundown of covert narcissists and why PTSD is the result when an empath gets involved. There's nothing brief on my channel. A three to four minute video, are you crazy? Um, I'll try. Uh, I'm seeking this as a very quick way to educate people. This kind of makes sense to me that you know you might want a video that you could send to potential clients or people that you're working with and saying, hey look, this is what you're dealing with and yes, it does need to be three or four minutes. You guys can't expect total strangers to just listen to me go on for like 20 minutes. Some of my videos are like 40 minutes long. Um, <clears throat> unless someone's been, this is Kristen speaking, unless someone's been affected by this phenomena personally, they don't want to research it. I feel a need for a quick elevator speech that can explain to people why there are so many of us whose lives were suddenly shattered after a relationship with a covert narc. We didn't lose any limbs, we didn't lose any family members, the trauma is not visible and makes no sense to others because of a lack of education. Um, it is my belief that there, need, there needs to be a very simple way to explain the onset of this trauma to people by a reputable source such as yourself, reputable indeed, um, who have not been affected by it, such that a light will go off, albeit dimly. There are people that need it spelled out simply and quickly. Ugh. Uh, the details, nuances and complexity that are of great and grave interest to folks like me will only serve to turn these people off further to being open to education on this matter. Yeah, take your point. Um, I, I'm just in the process of finishing a course that is just about covert narcissism. Every video I shot for that course I tried to make as concise and simple and functional as possible. Um, in total I ended up shooting three hours three hours and 50 minutes of footage and that's me trying to make it simple. Covert narcissism, complex PTSD, the trauma that covert narcissism inflicts on people with porous ego boundaries and empaths, those with CPTSD, uh, is so multi-layered and so complicated that yeah it literally um, that, that, and that's just the video section, that's not the written exercises, they're not done yet and the uh, audio uh, hypno hypnosis tracks, they're not done yet either. There's already three hours and 50 minutes of footage there. That's trying to make it simple. So yeah, I understand that whilst yes, it is a very difficult, complicated subject, it does need to be made uh, straightforward for those who don't know about it. And I'd be willing to pay a download fee for such a video. Not necessary. Um, I'll do it for free and I'll take it right in the karmic bank account. I believe you're the person to make it because of your extensive knowledge and your viewer friendly. Um, perhaps you already know of a good elevator speech video. Do all of you know what an elevator speech is? Um, I think it's more of an American term than an English term and it's a good one. Uh, the idea of an elevator pitch, uh, for any of you, you should know this, like, especially if you've got a business or you would like to run a business. Um, the elevator pitch idea is that you should be able to concisely tell somebody what your business is inside of 15 to 20 seconds. So the elevator pitch is you can get on the ground floor, uh, get off at the 10th floor, and by the time you get off the elevator, the other person will know what it is that you do. Learning to sum up your business um, into smaller and smaller chunks actually helps you to define the core values of what your business enterprise is. Why would that be relevant here? Well, this YouTube channel, Spartan Life Coach, has taken many a twist and turn over the years and it's changed and developed as I've changed and developed as a person. But in the last two years, certainly, it ended up becoming a kind of semi-experimental um, project to see if therapy, healing work, um, education could be done just by chatting to people in a light-hearted, open, interesting and hopefully hopefully interesting hopefully entertaining way um, and that it could actually do some good and uh, it did but these videos um, in order to do that they are effectively a sales pitch every one of these videos I'm selling you on something if you're in a height even in coaching if you're in a heightened state of trauma I need to sell you on the idea of hope if you're in um, just coming out of an extremely abusive relationship or you're struggling with depression, anxiety, rage attacks, um, I need to sell you on the idea that there is a solution and that I have that solution and that you should, even though you've been battered into a state of distrust and even though you're suffering post-traumatic embitterment um, and you see the world as a dark and evil place full of sharks and predators, that it's okay. You can listen to me and I have to sell you on that. Um, selling 
when abused, is an extremely greasy and horrible, um, or can be an extremely greasy and horrible thing. Uh, but when it is not abused and it's done honestly, um, it's I think is a is a noble art and one that I've been studying since well, since the age of thirteen or fourteen. I liked the idea of uh, studying sales tactics and, and techniques. Um, so if I can present an idea and go, well, this selling is basically you just stack the benefits. You just go, well, this is and and make a case. You present a case. Uh, same as uh, through lawyers there in a court of law, you put the case uh, that this is the way it should be, and that you know if you come from a model that says that you are suffering emotional flashbacks because you're suffering from complex PTSD, then, then it can be healed in it and it can be good. So I like the idea of doing this. It's an interesting challenge, but it is a challenge because as I say, I'm in the middle of a covert narcissism course. It's taken me months to put it together because it, and, and even then condensing the information down and passing out that which is not absolutely necessary is really, really difficult. You're asking me to reduce it to three to four minutes and to talk in a way that is uh, engaging and friendly, doesn't use too much technical terms and that can actually help to convince people that there is uh, of, of what it is that they've experienced. I'm going to try and I'll put the link to the video in which I try and do that um, here or maybe here or maybe there. Okay, cool. Thank you very much for your time and your attention and uh, let me know what you think of the video when it's done.